Hello. Welcome to another edition of Frederico's Kitchen. I'm your host, Frederico. Today we got a live studio audience. Let's hear it for them. They came in to see some good cooking. We got a lot of recipes to go, so let's get started. The first recipe, since it's the holiday season, what we're going to do is a Cajun butter recipe turkey. So I'm going to show you how we make that really quick. It's very easy. You start with a normal big bird, you know, that's been clean, patted dry, and everything. And what we're going to do is we're going to fry that turkey. Um, so the first thing we do, you know, sometimes we have to do a little surgery. You know, I love this thing. What can I tell you? So in this sauce, we got lemon juice, we got a little butter, and we got some Cajun seasonings. You know, I like things a little kicked up, so we're going to add a little bit more. Don't worry for you once who are kind of weak. You know, it won't, be, it won't be too spicy, I promise, I promise. So what we're going to do is just suck some up in the needle. Man, I feel like a doctor right now. Do I have any patience, any takers for the needle? <laughs> Don't be afraid. It, it only stings. Like, what do they tell you? It'll only sting for a minute. That's what they say. So this is the part I like. Jab it. <laughs> it's just something about that first, that first stick. You know, what can I tell you? You know, they do that to you when you go to the doctor anyway. You know, oh, it's only going to sting for a minute and then your whole arm feel like it's about to fall off. <laughs> so you just do that all over the turkey, raise them up, underside is good, you know, get that in there. And the secret to doing this is that it comes out, you come out with a more flavorful turkey. So we're gonna set that out of the way, and I just wanna show you what it looks like while it's cooking. We are frying it, deep frying it, so. Smell that aroma. Mmm, mmm. I know that's just a tease. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. <laughs> I could not help it. Okay, so let's get started with our next recipe. We're doing uh, roasted sweet potatoes and squash, but this time we're going to do them on the grill, uh, and I'm going to show you how to make that really easily. So you just take a few potatoes, and we're just going to cut some pieces any kind of way you want to cut it. Doesn't have to be anything special you know about it. Shapes are fun. Kids will eat and adults will eat more if the shapes are better as well. There's research done on it. I know I did the research myself. <laughs> so I can tell you. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of put those on the grill to kind of soften them up a bit and then we're going to add the squash. We're going to add some garlic. Uh, we're going to season it a little bit and you'll be surprised at how great, hear that sizzle? Ah, uh, this show is not like other shows. We actually do cook on this show. You know, I know maybe you're not used to this in some of your kitchens, you know, seeing food prepared. Like you could probably turn the kitchen into a bedroom if you really wanted to, you know. And I actually know somebody who did that in San Francisco when I was in real estate. They, I was like, you can't get away with that. Well, we don't need the kitchen. Why not? We eat out. Why? I didn't understand that. I really didn't. But I guess to each his own. So we're just going to saute that a little bit. Put some more. And as you can see, my knives are sharp, so don't try this at home if you're not used to it. And we'll just make the pieces a little bit smaller because some people have small mouths because they're not used to eating good food. So. <laughs> And we got, gonna do that, throw them on. May not need this other one, so I'll set it aside. Cut one more. This is gonna be a tasty recipe, and you're gonna say, wow, he did that with a sweet potato. I can't believe it. Sweet potatoes are not just for pies. <laughs> they really aren't. You know, you can do many, many things with them. So, and so we're gonna let that cook for a little bit. And then we're going to start processing or start uh, out on our next recipe. So we multitask around here. So that means we cook more than one item at a time. That's why they give you four burners on the stove. So you can use all four of them, not just one or two. 
But you would probably know that if, if you know, if you went in your kitchen. <laughs> All right. So we'll get that going. And all we do is just cook them a little bit, let them soften some. We're going to add a little oil to them, a little bit more oil to it. Kind of make it sizzle a little bit. And then we're going to add, we got uh, some squash to it. We're going to add some onion as well. And normally I have red peppers, but guess what? They were, the store was, the grocery store was out. It's like, how are you out of red peppers? <laughs> Oh, we can't keep them here. Why not? You know we want them. So, and I like to, I like to cut in shapes. I don't, you know, I don't necessarily do the standard circles or, you know, uh, like everybody does. I kind of do things a little bit differently, as you can tell. So, you know, I guess that's what makes me me, and you you. I believe that was a song once, wasn't it? <laughs> me, me, me. Or maybe I can make one. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, you know, sometimes you just get bored and just got to do things. You know. But yeah. So, and this is a recipe that you're probably going to like to do at another time when you get home. You'll be like, honey, can we make that squash with them sweet potatoes? So if you don't remember or you forget the recipe, you can always email me or you can always watch the show again because it comes on several times a week, you know. So they play it. That's one thing I can say. They do play it quite a bit. And this goes a long way and it's vegetables and it's good for you. So fast food, but it's good. And we call the, the name of this show, as I forgot to tell you, when we were starting, is Start to Finish. So, because we show you how to do things from start to finish. Start the meal, finish the meal, and everything. So, there you go. A little more. Watch the fingers. You notice I'm looking down, because I don't want to, you know, last thing you need is to have the food season with my finger in it. <laughs> that would not be good at all. So we're just going to turn that, see how they're browning nicely. Cook them a little while. And that turkey is, ooh, I can smell it, Lord. Mm, mm, mm. Better watch out. This is the show that might make you want to slap your mama or your auntie or your cousin. Please don't do that because I don't want anybody calling me, telling me, they, you told them to slap their mama. Because some people will actually do that. Some people will actually do that, I know. So, And while that's cooking, we're going to start on our other recipe. Get that. So we'll slide this forward. And what you do is the sweet potatoes, they take a little longer to cook because they're a little coarser. So you let them cook a little longer. And then you just kind of test them with a fork or with a tong to see how soft they are. And then you add your, your other vegetables to it. So, and I'm also going to chop the onion as well. I'm going to do big pieces. Like so. So we're just going to do some big pieces. I hear a timer. Sounds like another song. It does. I don't like that end. That's the that's the one thing you have to throw away that I don't like sometime on the onion. That skin on the outside is tough. I know you can probably use it. I just don't like it myself. You know, that's, might as well use the other one. That's the way they do it. Japan. Hi! 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 <laughs> I don't know why they make that noise, but it sounds fun, though. <laughs> it does. Sounds like you can have just a really good time. Like, you know, you're making noise. Just making noise to let people know you're there. Hi! Yep, those are cooking nicely. So, we want to start on our 
get our next recipe, which we have uh, it's called sticky wings. Sticky wings, sticky wings. That doesn't sound too too good, but it, it is good. So I'm gonna leave that here because the potatoes aren't quite soft enough, so we're gonna um, put that on in a minute. Actually, I can just do it this way. Put that on a bowl and get it out of the way. I know I'm a messy cook, what can I tell you? But my kitchen is clean. <laughs> it is clean. You can eat off the floor. I wouldn't advise it, but you know. I believe in the kitchen being clean. Don't leave any dishes in the sink. You know, none of that. You can almost almost take this and steam it if you would like. You know, cook it a different way. Steam it. Uh, make something different out of it. So I'll just set that here. Hopefully it won't be in the way and my cameraman not, hey, move that. So sticky wings. So we're going to start with uh, wings. Ta-da. <laughs> It's amazing how stuff just appears. So you take three to five pounds of wings. You know, you can get the, the wing at, so you can get the wings and chop them if you want to do it that way. And we're going to add uh, about eight ounces of uh, pineapple, including the juice, right? So we're just going to dump that right in. Don't worry, we're going to mix it well. Don't worry, it's going to be all right. Put that over here. Uh, and then we're going to add... Uh, some red pepper flakes. Yeah, mm hmm like it's spicy. Mm hmm A couple tablespoons of red pepper flakes. Like so. Don't worry. Don't, don't get scared. It's not going to be that hot, I promise you. Then we're going to add the magic ingredient. Honey. Oh, I love that. It's just something about honey. It is. It's just, you know, I don't know what it is. Woo, look at that. Just something about honey. Mm, good for you. It is. That's why they say you can't kill the bees. And then we're going to add a little a teaspoon of salt and Teaspoon of pepper. I did that backwards, but who cares? In my show, I can do what I want. <laughs> and so you're going to take that and you're going to mix that all up really good. See how easy that is? You, yeah, you might see stuff on the other cooking shows. Oh, yeah, they do this and they do that, but do they actually cook? They have people in the back doing everything for them. Nobody's in the back. <laughs> Nobody's in the back. We don't have a back. So, well, we don't. We don't have a back. So now those potatoes are getting a little soft. Sweet potatoes, yeah, almost there. So we're going to add... That squash. Now I tried this with zucchini as well, just to when I was kind of playing around with this recipe. It did not taste the same. It was still good, but it wasn't as good as with the squash because the taste from the potatoes, from the sweet potatoes and the yellow squash plays better than with the zucchini because zucchini has a different, it's a, it's a little different taste. So, but you can try and tell me what you think. Send me an email, you know, let me know. What do you say? That grill is always full in this show, huh? It's just something about it. You know my grill is going to be full. Looks like I need a bigger grill or a bigger show. I don't know which one it is so, that I need. So, so we're going to cook that. Wow. And see, what I love about doing things on this grill is so colorful. You can see it. You can see it. You can see what's going on. Now, if you happen to have one of these at home, take it out of the, out of the closet from under the cabinet. Dust it off a little bit. Let it see the light of day sometimes. You know, 
If you're not sure what to do with it, call me. I'll be happy to help. Email me. Emails, yeah, phone calls, I usually answer. So if you're privy to the number, I try to answer. So this is going to cook a little while longer. Probably going to end up with some on the floor. If your son pops out in the audio, just do this. <laughs> you know, just be ready because you never know. Never know. So we're getting there with that. And so the chicken is ready. So as soon as that gets done, then we'll pop the chicken on, right? And get that going. So, yeah, let's do a little bit more salt. You say that's a lot of salt, but it's not, trust me. This thing doesn't put out as much, but you need a little bit more pepper on it. It's not gonna be that hot, I promise you, I promise you. You don't believe me, but it's not. You're going to barely taste the pepper. The pepper, the pineapple, and the honey is going to offset it. And so you're going to be like, oh, baby, it's hot. But then when you taste it again, the pineapple is going to trick you. <laughs> and the honey is going to trick you. You'll be like, man, I got to go buy some honey. Where you get that honey from? You know. So, and just, you know, because I love to cook, and I, for years I couldn't admit that, but I finally did. Um, but because I love to, I guess sometimes in the middle of the night, recipes come and I wake up. It's, it's crazy. I know it's, it's totally crazy. I was like trying to figure out what to do, what I wanted to make on the show. And I'm laying there trying to sleep. And of course I can't sleep because my mind is going crazy, wondering what I'm going to cook. And I always like to save the, as much of the pepper as possible. One of these days I'm going to figure out what to do with that. <laughs> maybe just some decoration or something like that maybe, but I don't know. But I wonder if it's edible. I just, I don't want to be the first one to try it, but anybody want to, you know, chew on it and see if it'll make them sick or not and let me know? I mean, I just, I don't like to waste, so. And you notice I'm putting the pepper on last because it doesn't take that long for the pepper to cook. And I normally use red pepper because... Uh, red pepper is a little sweeter, and then I like the I like the color too. I mean, if you notice, see, look, if I even put tomato, see how the color pops out. And color in your food is always good, always good, always. So, anybody tell you anything different? Not not food color, but color in your food, in your diet, will help you with your digestion and everything else. So. So we're going to add that. Well, there's no room. How about that? <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. So we can pull that off now. And we'll just add the pepper. Wow. Look at that. Man, how can you go wrong with something like that? You can't. I know you can smell it, huh? <laughs> I, love, I love cooking before studio audience. It's one of the greatest things. I really appreciate you guys coming. You just don't know how much. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's amazing to, to look out and see people you know and people you don't know. And they be like, that guy's crazy. <laughs> Girl, you brought me to this. There's something wrong with him. <laughs> you know. But I have it, but I'm having fun though. Hey. <laughs> you know. Uh-oh, man down. Man overboard, but it's okay. There's enough. There's enough. You never leave. And people always ask me, oh, what are you cooking? What are you cooking? What are you gonna make for the show? What are you cooking? What are you cooking? I'm like, I can't tell you that. You gotta come to see. I'm not gonna tell you. So we'll throw that on, get those sauteed a little bit, and then add them in. Since we didn't have enough room on the grill, which is okay. So I'm going to set this back here so it won't tease you. Uh, so you'll be okay with it. And I'll add another pepper. 
Those peppers, are, look how they're jumping. They're ready to get in the pot with the rest of the food. Man, I've never seen, <laughs> I've never seen that before. That's new to me. See, there we go. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. And pull that out. See, and you got mostly pepper. You have hardly anything to throw away. I had the tomato sitting there because I was going to do another recipe, but sometimes I get a little carried away. So I don't know if we'll have time for that tonight. But there's always another show. There's always another show. So always another show. So what's going to be interesting, I want to see that turkey. Turkey. A pardon a turkey every year. Hmm. Can't believe that. And that's probably one of the best turkeys you could probably eat. We're going to give him a pardon. Send him over to me. I'll pardon him. I'll give him a pardon. Yes, sir. I'll put him right here in this fryer. All right. So that's going. All right. So now, let's see if we can get this last recipe in really quickly. Check on the Ooh, ooh, man, mm. that slapped your mama right there. <laughs> I'm telling you, auntie and grandma too, they better get in the way all of them line up like three students. Pada! Sorry, I got, <laughs> sorry, I got carried away. I'm old school, I thought about three students. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So the next, next recipe is uh, stuffed croissants. Hope I'll have time to finish it. These are ugly croissants but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with them. So, with a stuffed croissant, because I'll have room on the grill, stuffed croissant, we're gonna take a handful of spinach, right? You're gonna love this. And what we're gonna do is just wilt that spinach down a little bit, right? Just a little bit of oil, it's not gonna kill you. It's olive oil. It's all good. I'm having trouble with my power today. For some reason, it won't, it does not want to stay hot. Uh, so we're just going to wilt them down, wilt the spinach down. And then what you do is you take the spinach, and I'm going to add a little garlic, maybe a lot of garlic. Like that. Might as well put something over there, huh? Wait a minute. One, two. Tell me when to stop. No. Garlic overboard. You got to really love somebody. They got garlic breath, huh? Well, that's okay. That's how you know they love you. Eat some garlic. Bite into a piece of garlic or onion. Hey, baby, give me a kiss. See what she say. She doesn't kiss you. She the wrong one. The wrong one. So see how fast that spinach wilts down? Fast, fast, fast. Like that. Actually, I could have put a little bit more. This grill cooks fast, huh? Amazing what it'll do when you take it out. Yep. Okay, so, and that's going to go in with our other vegetables. Ooh, that's a lot of garlic. Ooh, no, it's not. No, it's not. Not really. It's not that much. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit, but it's all good. So, you know, saute that a little bit more. And then take that, that spinach. See? If I can get this going. Not getting hot, not getting hot. Could make a song about that too. <laughs> I really could. Hey Jeffrey, where's Jeffrey? Yes, How, can you turn on that, that for me? Yes, please. And so what we do is, we take a little bit of that spinach, like that. 
Oh, I heard somebody say, mm. Oh, girl, what are you doing? Mm. Mm. I got a reaction. That's what I'm talking about. Reaction. A little bit of spinach. That one's kind of messed up. We're not going to use that one. Just a little bit of spinach. Like so. I know. You're going to love this. Like so. Like so. See, that's all of it. And like that. And then, so once we got that off, then we're going to take a little bit of feta, because spinach goes good with feta. I heard some reactions. And like this. Feta. Look like I'm cooking too much. I got carried away tonight. I apologize. Power. But you can see the kind of meals we do here on Frederico's Kitchen. We aim to please. We make sure that you get, you, you get uh, some good lessons in the kitchen. So we just take it and we go like this and we roll it up like so. And then you just bake it in the oven for about 10 minutes. And when you bite into it, oh, Lord, mm. yep, slap your mama again, like I said, you know. That's what it'll end up being. I put too much in that one, but it's okay. So, but we, will, we thank you for coming to Frederico's Kitchen and watching. We thank you for the support that we've gotten. It's been almost four years. Almost four years. How about that? So... We're going to have to finish this meal off the air because I got carried away. What can I tell you? So, but we're going to keep cooking. We're going to bake these croissants off. And I thank my audience. I thank my crew. I thank God for the blessings that he's given me. And I thank you all. Thanks for coming. Get a shot of that turkey! Look at that. Woo! How about that? Thank you!